Hey friends, thanks for hanging out with me today. In today's video, I'm going to have some deep, deep cleaning. I have a filthy oven, some really nasty carpet. I'm gonna get behind and under the oven. And I'm gonna finish out my day with some really fun organizing. I'm going to organize my cleaning cabinet. Um, I'm excited about this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. There will also be lots and lots of laundry motivation. I'm going to be doing my laundry, my daughter's laundry, and I'm going to be washing the sheets and towels from the guest room as I prepare for another weekend of guests. I love hosting people and um, I'm just really excited to get started on this spring clean and prepare for guests. The first thing on my to-do list is to clean my windows and I did clean all of the windows in my family room, kitchen, and dining room. I only filmed a couple of them because, you know, once you've seen one window clean, you've seen them all. Um, this window, you can see little kitty nose prints from where my cat sits there and looks out the window. Um, I just used Windex wipes on the glass and then when I opened the window, I used some more Windex wipes and I got out my Bissell Steam Shot. Um, and then I also came back over it with a white rag with bleach and Tide, um, and you'll see that later on. But because my windows all have storm windows on the outside, there's this gap between the two that just gets absolutely filthy. So I only do this once a year. I should probably do it more, but I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> notice the difference between the windows in my family room and the windows in the dining room. The dining room is in the half of the house that was built in 1940. So these are the original windows to the house. They are 80 years old. Um, they're so charming. They're huge, beautiful, let in so much light. Um, but they are a little difficult to maintain. I have these strips um, of weatherproofing on them because they're very drafty and even with the storm windows on the outside they are not very efficient but I don't care I wouldn't give them up for the world they are one of my favorite features of this house I follow this great cleaning account on Instagram called Go Clean Co. And the owner of Go Clean Co, her name is Sarah also, she swears by powdered Tide mixed with bleach. 
and very hot water and she uses this to clean things like doors, um, fingerprints off of door jams, baseboards, and I'm going to use this mixture to get paw prints off of the windowsill in the family room and to kind of clean up those really nasty windowsills in the dining room. So I've been using this mixture for a couple of months now and I'm very impressed. It does such a good job. I'm almost embarrassed to show you guys this, but this is my filthy, filthy oven. It is so gross. It is definitely one of those things I've been meaning to do for a while and just did not get around to it. But here we are. I'm finally getting around to it. I'm using Fume Free Easy Off and I'm going to shut the oven and leave it for a few hours and then when I come back I'm going to wipe it down with just a wet sponge and then I'm going to come back through with Dawn Power Wash and a wet sponge and get off any remaining residue and then I will dry the entire thing with paper towels and it does a pretty good job. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. I also took the um, the oven grates out and I put those in the bathtub on an old towel. I filled the tub with very hot water and dropped in some cascade pods and those cascade pods in the hot water just helped to eat up all of the residue that was on these grates. I don't know which way we're going, no control you. Push me then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign. Ah, oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want you close, I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering, you know I'd do anything to be in your arms again, so give me a sign, give me a sign, oh give me a sign, baby give me a sign. Give me one more, talking to you Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign I just wanna let you know I could go for this, no more tricks We could take things slow Say you think about it too When the lights go out and there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control, you push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. So give me a sign Give me a sign oh, Baby, just give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Okay, we've come a long way since that before shot. I was able to get all of that burned on food to come off and it is not perfect, but it's very close. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. And considering we will be getting a new oven in about a month, um, I think this is fine for the next month. Just 
You may notice that my video today is a little out of order, but while the oven was sitting there with its cleaner, I cleaned up the kitchen, um, put away all the dishes, and you know, just did my general tidying up for the day. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. I should be trying something new, but now my body's sick. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone, and I'm just singing, mm, mm, it should have been you. Another time, another place, I just know. I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be driving to your place But now the crown is shaking Could be a face But it feels like It will never go away Until we make up I can't be myself I never knew how much I needed you mm. It should have been you turned one this month and we had a little family celebration at our house um, and as you can see it was a great success <laughs> there's stuff everywhere leftover presents and plates of food I just have not picked it up yet but now I'm going to quickly attack the dining room and family room so that I can get everything put back together one of those once in a lifetime moments and I'm so happy it was caught on camera. Ah! I exploded the birthday balloon and glitter went everywhere. It really scared me but I just thought that was so funny. I had to keep it in.
I use a seam ripper to cut the hair off the brush roll and then it comes off so easily. I hope this trick helps you out. Maybe you guys can use it too. Since I cleaned out the inside of the oven, I figured I should probably get behind it and under it and just make sure I did the entire thing. As you can see, the sides and the back were just as gross as the inside, but I'm going to get it all cleaned up and it's going to look so much better in the end. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss I'm going to take this moment while I strip the guest bed to tell you that I have really enjoyed making these videos and it has become something that I look forward to so much. Such a fun hobby. If you guys like these videos too, please consider subscribing, hitting like on this, and just helping me out, help me grow this channel. Um, I just feel like this is such a fun thing to do and I'm happy to share with you everything that's going on in my home.
powdered Tide is making another appearance today. I love taking Tide and adding borax to it, and I really think that that helps my white towels and white sheets stay super bright. I hope you guys are ready for some laundry motivation because I'm about to fold and hang up two baskets of laundry super fast, speed fold style. We could do this right, we'll find the remedy, or would you stay with me? Okay, this next part of the video I have been so, so looking forward to. I finally got a full upright carpet cleaner. And this rug in my family room, along with my bedroom carpet, have been in our house for four years and they have never been cleaned. So I am so excited to get deep cleaned into these carpets. I'm gonna start by doing a nice, slow vacuum, get up as much dirt as I can, and then we will just see what happens. You and I know when we are too far apart. Everything just falls apart. So I just close my eyes and dream about our kids and how they're running around. Won't you come and lay down next to me? Close your eyes and we journey that I realized something was very very wrong as you can see that dirty tank is totally empty it's not sucking up any water I was so confused until I realized that the brush roll was 
clogged with so much dog hair. It couldn't suck up any water, ew! So I had to stop and clean it out and then it was working perfectly fine. So that's what I get for going four years without cleaning my rug. Look at all that nasty water. I feel so good to have cleaned this rug. Ew, all of that definitely had to come out. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Yeah, that was definitely needed. love the features of this Hoover Smart Wash. It comes with a pre-treat wand that you can spray onto stains and then the cleaning solution does such a good job of lifting up the dirt and just making it smell fresh and clean. I've been really really impressed with this machine. see over on the far right side there was a clump of dog hair that came out of the machine and I realized it was happening again it was getting clogged so I took it out and sure enough it was full of dog hair so I cleaned it out cleaned out the brush roll and kept going so that I wouldn't have the same problem as last time feature of this machine is the fact that when it rolls forward, it dispenses cleaning solution and cleans, and then when you roll backwards, it switches to dry mode and it sucks up everything that you just dispensed. I just think that is so neat. There's even a button called dry only where you can switch it to only suck up water and not dispense any solution, which I definitely used at the end of my cleaning. I went back over all of the carpet and rugs and just dried it as best as I could and it really did dry very quickly. Just like last time, I am so glad that I cleaned these carpets. That water is nasty and there is still so much dog hair that was pulled up from the carpet 
and I can't believe this considering I vacuumed right beforehand but I'm so glad that I used this machine it got up so much stuff that I didn't even know was in my carpet Now that I'm finished cleaning the carpets, I am back to laundry motivation. I am folding all the towels and sheets for the guest room. One of my very close friends from high school is coming into town and we are going to celebrate her daughter's birthday. I'm so excited to spend time with them. We plan to go to the Discovery Museum and walk on the walking bridge here and it's just going to be such a fun girls weekend. No. I am tackling another project that I've been putting off for a while and that is clearing out my daughter's clothing. Her closet was full of things that didn't fit anymore and we had tons of new clothes from her birthday party to fill out her next wardrobe. So here I'm just going through everything that doesn't fit, taking it down, and I will fold it up and put it in the bin that I will eventually put in the attic and save for potentially the next kid or one of my sister-in-laws, whichever one of us has a, has a girl next. Last thing on my to-do list today is tackling this cleaning cabinet. I am pretty proud of two of the cabinets in here. One is my medicine cabinet, which I've managed to keep very organized. It's labeled and everything is easy to find. And then the other cabinet is my extra candles and light bulbs, which generally stay pretty organized. They're also labeled. But this cabinet in the middle is my cleaning cabinet and it is just a full-on disaster i have not kept up with it it's not organized it's just a big mess oh look at that yeah that is not a representation of my organization style here in the laundry room i keep back stock of cleaning supplies laundry supplies and then over on the left all of my daily supplies so I think I'm going to be moving a lot of things into the laundry room here and then in my utility closet I have more back stock of cleaning supplies, um, lots of things for the Swiffer and the mop, they're all stored in here, the vacuums are stored in here 
and just general household things are stored in here too. So I'm really going to need to go through this cabinet, be ruthless, move things out, and just keep what is my daily use cleaning supplies. Happy with how this project turned out I managed to get everything down to two bins one for bathroom cleaning supplies and another one for kitchen and general cleaning and then on the top shelf I have a small bin for um, alcohol wipes hand sanitizer extra sponges and my little Grove um, concentrate cleaners so if you enjoyed this video please hit like please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I have so much content planned and I'm really excited to share with you guys what I'm up to. I'll see you next time.